Pruta, how much is a pruta? Echad mishmoyne bi isro tauki. One eighth of an Italian isro. That's the shear of the pruta. That's the shear of the pruta has to be. So how did Rabbi Yosef, you say that kaldehu, whatever the pruta is in the, that time, even if it's less than that, the, but the Mishnah says one eighth. The chitam, and if you want to answer me, Haini Mili Vidara Shamosha that that shear of one eighth of an Isra Tauki is the talk of the shear in the generation of Moshe. Avahacha, but now in our generation, Rav Yosef is saying that a woman is Makalish with a pruta, even if the pruta is less than the value of one eighth of an Isra Tauki, whatever the pruta is today. Right. So the more it says um the the chashiva who the inshade whatever is called chashiv a pruta to people that's what he's got. So the Gemara says that can't be the answer. Why? Ki osan rabdimi because when rabdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babel is Omar he said shear Rav Simoy v'dor Rav Simoy in his generation made an accounting and kama he pruta how much is in a pruta. And he said, the proof is echad mishmoyne b'isra watalki. One-eighth of an Italian isser. So you see, even in those times, the shear, not only the time of Moshe, but even the time of the Amor- Amoroyim, the shear was one-eighth of an isser watalki. He also, Rab, and when Rab came from Edge Yisra, off the bubble, he also said, Omar, Rav Destoy, Rav Yanai, Rav Oshaya, Shi'aru Kamahava, Pruta, they they measured how much a pruta is, and they said it's echad mishisha misra talki one six, not one eighth, one six of an Italian isra. So Amrle Rav Yosef, so Rav Yosef said back to Abaya, Icha Ihachi, if that's so, Hainu to the Tanina. This is what we learned in a Bryce. The Bryce says. The Brisa was talking about uh, if somebody is Moab, if somebody has a benefit from Hegdish, so you have to pay back what you were, the, what the benefit you got, plus you add in the fifth. And you also have to bring a Corbin. That Corbin that you have to bring has to be worth two Sloyan. That's one of, that's one of the special deals of that Corbin. So this Brisa was talking about that how much is the value of two sloyim in prutais? Say the chosh of kama prutais v'shne sloyim. And the, the, the Bryce says, you will find yoser mialpayim. It's more than 2,000 prutais in shne sloyim. So the word says, hash the alpayim loyavinen. If you if you say the cheshbon is one eighth of a nisur atalki, it's not nowhere near two thousand. So how can you say it's more than two thousand? So of course it has to be like Rav Yosef that there's no value whatever the pruta is in that time. That's what it is. So the Gemara answers. Um, so the Gemara answers like this. Amrale Husaba, so an elder said to Rav Yosef in Abaya, Ano Tanina law, I learned this price or not the way Rav Yosef learned it. Yoser may apayim more than 2,000 Amas, but Korev la apayim, closer to 2,000 Amas, not more, but closer to. So the Gemara says, so, so. Alpha of the Chamesh Mea Utlosen Vashisa. What do you, even if you say it's Kor of Laupayim, but it's still only 1,536. So the more answers, Ki, um, who the habit. So the more says, Kiva Nafle Mipalga, once it's more than half. It's called Korav Laupayim. 
And it was the, the more is answering the Bryce and saying, okay, you're saying it's more close to, to two, 2000. It's not really close to 2000, but it's more than half. So that's why the more calls it call, close to 2000. Gufa. He also Ravdimi, when Ravdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Bubble, Omar, he said, Shir of Simoy Vidoroi, Kama he put Rav Simoy and his generation measured what is the value of the Pruta. And he said, It's Echot Mishmona be Isaratauki, one eighth of an Italian Isar, like the time, like in the time of, the, of Moshe. He also, Robin, when Robin came from Eretz Yisrael to Bubble, Omar, he said, Shi'aru Rav Dustoy, Rav Yanai, Rav Ushaya, Kamahi. They measured how much the value of a pruta is. How much, Kamahi pruta. Echad mishisha b'isarataki. And they said it was not one eighth, but it's one sixth. Okay. So Amr Abaya the Rav Dimi. Nema, let's say, Sha'at, the Rabin, you and Rabin argue, but Pluta the Hainitanoi Kamifti. In the argument of an uh, earlier argument of Tanoi, the Sanim we learned in the Brisa, Pruta Sha'amru Chachamim, the Pruta that the Chachamim were talking about, that's the Pruta that is worth that you can, that you can be a Kaddish woman with, is Echad. Mishmona be Isaratauki, one eighth of, a, of an Italian Isra. And now the more the Bryce goes on and explains how you get to that count. So Sheish Ma of Kesab a dinner. There's six Ma of Kesab in a dinner, and a Ma is She Pundion. U Pudjon Shte Isurin. And a Pudjon is Shte Isurin. And an iser is worth shte mus mersim, va mismas shte kundrukin, the kundrak shte prutais. Nimsa, so now if you take out your calculator and figure this all out, nimsa she pruta he achas mishmon of israel, one eighth of an Italian. Yes, sir. All right. But our, the art scroll in the note goes through how you come how you come to this. But the but the, the Bryce ex explained how it is. You just have to figure it out in terms of the math. Um Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel Amr, Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel says, Shalosha Hadrosin Lama. There are three Hadrosin Lama who stay. Hansin Hatsin Hansin Lahadris and two Hansin Lahadris, who stay Shimonim Lahanitz and stay Prutais the Shamitz, Nimsa Pruta, the value of a Pruta is Achas Mishisha be Isra Tau. So Lema, let's say that Rab holds like the Tanakama, it's one eight, and Robin, who said, in the price it was one six holds like Rashim Gamlio. So the more answers no. Amr le so Radimi answers back no. Bain the Didi, even according to me, Bain the Robin, I'll leave it the Tanakama. We could hold both like the Tanakama that it's one eight. Okay. So why did Robin say one six? The more old train. But low kasha. There's no kasha. Zeh, this is what Rav Simoy and the others said, this one eighth, the Yaker Isure, where the value of an Isur is more than its usual value. So that's when they said it's one eighth. The Ha, but when they said um, it's one sixth, is the Zul Isure. The Isurim were cheaper. The value of the Isurim were cheaper in the marketplace. So the more goes on and says, and Ravdimi brings you a proof, the Hadi Yakir Sure 
if the, the value of the Yisurim are h- higher in value, so kum, it comes out, esrim the arba bezuzah, that there are 24 zuzin, there are 24 zuzin, and ha dezuel, when it's it's lower in value, it's kum tlosin utrein bezuzah, 32. So Amr Shmuel, Shmuel says the following halach, Kitsha Bitmora. A man went over to a woman, gave her a date, and was Makadash. The date is less than a Shavapruta. Okay? Is she Mikudashis? So you would tell you would tell me no, because the date is less than a Shavapruta. But Shmuel says, Kitsha Bitmora, Afidu. I made kur tomorrow the dinner, even if a kur of tomorrow is worth a dinner, that would mean definitely that that the t- one day is less than a pruta, mikudashas. Shmuel says she's still mikudashas. Why? Because shema shava pruta the modai. Because maybe. They're here and they're here in Israel, but maybe in Modai, some other land, the value of a date is worth a Shabbat So therefore, Shmuel says we have to be worried that somewhere in the world, the value of the date is worth a Shabbat and there and therefore she's Mukudashis. Okay, so that's what Shmuel says. Frank the Gemara, the Anan Tanan, but we learned in our Mishnah, Beis Hill, and Beis Hill says, the Pruta, a man can be in college, a woman, but the Pruta, Ubeshava Pruta, and the value, and the, and the value of a Pruta. So our Mishnah says the value of a Shava Pruta. And according to Shmuel, it could be less than a Shava Pruta here. But somewhere else, it is a shabbat fruit. So the Mora says, Lokasha, that our Mishnah and Shmuel are not problematic. Why? The Ha the Kedushe Vada. Our Mishnah is talking about a Vada Kedushan. If a man gives a woman a shabbat fruit, she's Mukudesh's Vada. She can't marry anybody else. Anybody who tries to marry, she would have, right? The Ha and Shmuel is talking about the Kedusha Sopan. That if she took the Tamura, she took the date, and it's a Sopan, whether that's a Shavu Pruta here or somewhere else, she's, she's Makadish to the first man, the Sopan. That means she can't marry anybody else. If she wants to make sure the Kedusha and the first man, she, ha- she has to get a get from him. And then let her. Then he has to give her a, a pruta again and makavish. So that's that's the Moore's answer. So Harvick Kedusha, the Shmuel saying that we're afraid that maybe this date is worth a pruta. Also Suffolk. but also Bad. I know if it's not a, if it's not a shabbat pruta here, it's not a shabbat pruta. So the Moore says. Brings a couple of mice. Who gabra the Akdish, the 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 bezivda the udrai? A man was makadish a woman with a bunch of of adrai or or muchen. They're soft, like bundles of of wool, very soft articles. All right. So Yosef Rav Simi Barchia Kai made the rab. So Rav Simi Barchia was sitting in front of Rav, the Kam Ayan Ba, and he was checking out this bunch of 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 cotton or or whatever the soft material. They call it flock. She, huh? They call it flock here. Flat. What? Flock. Flock. Okay. F L O C K. Okay. So sh- to check it out, E is Bay. Shavapruta to see whether this bundle of flock is worth a Shavapruta 
Um, Ain, if it's a Shabbat Puta, then he's, then he's Makarish to it. Below, low. So the more I ask, the, the, the less lay Shabbat Puta low, and if it's not worth a Shabbat Puta, then he would not be Makarish to her. But Amr Shmuel, but Shmuel said, Chayashinen. We are afraid that maybe, even though here it's not worth a Shabbat Pruta, but somewhere else in the world it is worth a Shabbat Pruta, so therefore it's Kedusha Mesafik. So the Gemara answers, so, so the Gemara says, Lokashi, that what, what Rav Sivim Barakia was checking is the Kedusha Vada, because he wanted to make sure it was a Kedusha Bavada. And Shmu is talking about Kedusha Sof. Okay, the word brings another mice. Ahu gabra da akdish be avno de kuko. There was a man who was Makadish, a woman with avno de kuko. I don't know how the, what the English translation is. Bluestone. Blue Bluestone. Blue black piece of marble. Huh? Rosh, a, blue, a bluish black piece of marble. Bluish black piece of marble. Okay. And And then somebody else came after he gave the first man gave her this blue plaque piece of marble and was Makarisha with a pruta. So Yosef Rav Chista, the Kalmishire, he wanted to figure out the value of this piece of marble, whether it's a Shabbat pruta or not. All right, to see whether the first one is a Kedushan Vadai or the second one is. The second man, a second man came who was Makarish or the Pruta. All right. So the Gemara says, uh, so Yosef Rav Chista called Meshire E is Bay Shabbat Pruta. And if, if, if this piece of, of Kukla, this piece of stone has, is worth a Shabbat Pruta, then, he, then she's married to him. And Elo, Lo, right? Mora. He s less ball shove a low. Are you telling me that if this rock was not worth a shove a that she would not be mekadeshes to the first one? But Amr Shmuel Chayashinen Shmuel says that we have to be afraid that maybe somewhere in the world the value is a shove a So the more he answers, Rav Chista loisavar to the Shmuel. Rav Chista doesn't hold. Like Shmuel. Okay. So the Morris says like this. Um, um, so the end of that, the story was, we had the story before that this man gave her the stone and we don't know whether it was a Shabbat fruit or not. And a second man came along and gave her a pruta vat. Right? So Amra um, lay Ime, so the mother of the first man said to Rav Chista, Vahi Yoma de Kitcha, that day that my son was Makarish, this woman, Hava Be Shavaputa. I know for sure that the value of that stone was worth a Shavaputa. So that means that the first Kedushan was Chalvada, it was a Shabbapruta, and the second Kedushan is not Chal at all, because she's married already to the first man, right? So this, the mother comes along and says, I know for sure that on that day, maybe today the value is not, but the, on that day it was. So the Gemara says, so Amr, Amr Allah, so Rav Chistab said back to her, Lab the Astrid law Abasra. You have no right to give this testimony to say that it's worth a Shava Pruta. It was then worth a Shava Pruta to answer her on the second one. Because she was the woman, or because she was the mother? Okay. What do you think? Do you hear me? Me too. What? I said, was it because she was a woman or because she was a Karo? The, uh, 
either one. Either one. Either I mean, the more, he, but what he was saying to us, look, if it's not a Shabbat fruit to hear, we're not worrying about what it is somewhere else. But if if you're telling me that 10 days ago when he was Makadish or that was worth, I don't care. If the father came along and testified. I don't know that would make a difference. Says I, I, says, I, you don't have two witnesses. Huh? Says yeah, says first of all, you don't have two witnesses, yes. Before before you would tell one of the stories that uh, if, if it was if it was in doubt whether it was a show of Puta, she was still bound to him. She had he probably had to give her a guess. Yes, he would have to give her a guess. He would definitely have she to would, give a guess. She would need a get from the first guy if she didn't right. marry him, yeah. Right. She would have to get a get. Yeah. And that's and that's what he said back to her. He said, Why are you trying to ask her on this on on the second man? The second man gave a gave a pruta, so she was vada in Kadesh's. And we don't know what what the value of that stone is that you get. All right. So the Gemara says, the Gemara wants to bring a riot to Rechista. Lav Hainu the Yehudas the Visa the Revchia. It isn't this similar to the case of Yehudas, who was the wife of Revchia. The Hava late Sar later. She had, when she ever she gave birth. She had a lot of tsar leda because you, when she gave birth, she usually gave birth to twins. Okay, so she usually gave birth to twins, and she so she wanted to find a way to separate from her husband because because giving birth all the time to twins was very difficult for her. So Amra lay, so she went and to to send to her husband Chista Amar li aim. Your mother said to me that Kibo Bich Abuch Kedushe Ki Zutrat. Your father accepted Kedushin on your behalf while you were younger. Right? So therefore, I'm also to you. You're already married. That's, that's what the mother said. The father accepted Kedushin for somebody else, right? So Amr Allah, he said to her, Rabkiya said to her back, La Kamina, the Imech, the Sart Lich Allah. You can't answer me on, on, on my wife. Amr Le Rabban and Rabhista Amai. Ha Ika Sade the idiot, the Yade de Bahu Yoy Mahaba Be Shabaputa. So the Rabban and asked Rabhista. That um, why are you saying it's no good? But there are witnesses. Let's say there are witnesses. We hear a rumor <clears throat> in the street. A coal went out. That there were witnesses that saw him give her that blue stone, and at the time that they gave it to her, it was worth a shavapruta. All right. So now what do you do? We don't know for sure that there are witnesses. We have a rumor on the street that there are witnesses, and those witnesses can testify to the to the value that on that day they know for sure that the value is a shabbat. So the more answers of Hissi is Hashta Mia Lesnayu come. Right now, are those two witnesses here? No. So I'm not going to worry about them. There may be two witnesses out there, but right now they're not here. I can't change the halal, what the halal is. Okay. So, Lav Hainu de Rav Hanina, Dom Rav Hanina, Rav Hanina said the following case. If a woman says that, Nishbesi, I was captured by Goyim. And she goes on and says, Utaharani. But I didn't have relations with any of them. So we would we would believe her, even though there we have a coal that there are with that this mice took place in Chutz Lawrence. All right. 
and we have a cold that there are there are witnesses somewhere out there in Hutzlords that know she was that knows that she was captured, right? So more says a deha betzad aspon aspon the eight of her in the north but they also and we're going to ask her because of maybe there's eight him out there. So the Morris says, no, no, that, I mean, the, we're not going to worry about it. They're not here. I don't know for sure. We have to go with the facts in front of us. Abai and Rava don't hold like what Rav Chista says, that if there are witnesses out there, possibly that we have to worry about. He says, Im hikila bishvua, if you're Mako with a shvua, why would you be Mako? A woman comes and says, I was captured and I didn't have relations. So why would you believe her? So the more tells you, the menabla nafshe gabe shaboy, that a, a woman, a Jewish woman who knows she's captured is going to make it do everything in her power to make herself look ugly. If she doesn't look good, then they're going to, they're not going to bother her. That's what the Gemara says. The manavla nafshe gabisha boy. She'll do everything in her power to not look good. So then they'll, they'll leave her alone. All right. But so that's why we're naked. Would we be naked? Would Would here, if if there are two witnesses out there that could say that on that ten days ago this was but this was worth a shava pruta, and that's a different issue. That's a different whole different story than the show, than the case of a of a woman who's who was cat. With Aishas Ish, would you be matter and say that maybe we shouldn't be afraid? Um, so the more goes on like this. Mm-hmm. Ishtayer Mahi Mishpacha, there was uh, from 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 the Mishpacha, Vesura and Porshu Rabbanimina, and the Rabbanish separated from that family, the Labishum the Sphere Lake the Shmuel, and not because so going back to the original Mice of Shmuel, what what was the case of Shmuel? Shmuel said that he gave that the first man gave her something that was less than a shabbat fruit. And then the second man was Makadasha with a fruit. So Shmuel says we're high sheenan, that maybe it's a shabbat fruit to somewhere else. So therefore, we say that the first one is a Kedusha Basophic. So she can't live with him anymore. She, he had, the first one has to give her a get. And the second one has to give her a get. And then they can start the process over. All right. So the so the more says that that from that family, they whatever kids they had, not because they hold like shmuel, they hold like a buy and rub. So more goes on. Hahu Gabra, the Agdish Vishutisa. The Asa Bashuka. A man was Makadish, a woman with some um, um, Asa or Hadassim in the Shuk, in the marketplace. So, and the Hadassim um, were not worth a Shabbat Pruta. So, Shalhu Rabacha Barhuna, the Kaimeter of Yosef. So, Rav Acha Barhuna sent to Rav Yosef what, what, this question, right? And they said, ki, gai, ki hai gav namai. What's the halacha in this case? We don't know for sure whether it's a Sheva Pruka or not. So, Sholach lay, so Rav Yosef sent them back, Nagde, give him Malchus, not Malchus Minotaur, but Malchus Minotaur. Malchus Marvus, Karab, like Rab. What did Rab say? It's Trich get, and because it's a Suffolk, she needs a get from him, Kishmuel. Like Shmuel that says that 
we are choishet that maybe here it's not a shavapruta, but the value of those hadasim were somewhere else were worth a, sh- a shavapruta, and therefore she's mukdeshes to him besop. Okay, so now the more goes on and says, Rav Menage, Rav gave Malchus Mardus alamekadesh b'shuka to somebody who was Makadish, a woman in the marketplace. He felt that this was not appropriate way to, to for somebody to be Makadish, a woman in in the marketplace. Be out the Makadish Babia and Rav also gave Malchus Mardus and somebody who was Makadish, a woman Babia. Be out the Makadish Velosha Duche and a somebody who was Makadesh, a woman, without Shaduche, without having any, any talks between them of who's going to pay for this and who's going to pay for that. It's a Shaduche talk, all right? So Rav was, gave Malchus to somebody who was Makadesh, a woman, without Shaduche, without having any financial discussions of, of who's going to do this in the marriage and who's going to do that. The owl, um, the Mavato Gita, and he was gave Malchus to a man, a husband who gave a shliach a get to send to his to take to his wife, and then after the shliach left, he was Mavato the Gita. The shliach doesn't know about it. The shriach goes ahead and gives her the get. She has this get that she thinks is good. She gets married. So Rob gave Malchus to somebody who was Mavatu the get. Okay? The al the Moser Moda'a al Gita. And somebody who says in front of two witnesses is that this get that I'm going to give to my wife, um, I'm I'm being forced to to do. All right. So he, so in that case, Rob gave the person Malchus, and in another case, Rob gave some a person Malchus al the Metzayer Shalucha de Rabbanu. If the Besden sent somebody, um, uh, the messenger to the Besden of the Besden went to somebody to tell him that he had to appear in court or he had to do this or that, and that per that person gave the messenger a Besden a hard time, Rob would give that person Marcus Marcus. Val de Cholas Shamto Iloi Tlosinyon. And on somebody that the court put somebody in harem for 30 days. And after the 30 days, this person still did not listen to what the court told them to do. So Rob would give him Malchus. Al Hasna, the Dyer Bay Hamua, and on a Hosan. A man was Ma'oris, a woman. They're not married yet. They haven't gone to the chuppah. And the man is living together in the in his future Shver's house. So what are we afraid about? What are we afraid of? To get together with his wife. Not with his wife. With, with, wife. with his mother-in-law. Kamua. Oh, her mother Al Hasna the Dyer Bay Hamua and and a son in law who lives in in the house with the in laws. All right, we're afraid. So the more asked the Kasha, the Dyer aim, if he's living there, yes. What about Kolaf? No, if he's going back and forth, he walks by every day, he goes. On the way to work, he walks by the the 
the Schwer's house when he stops in for a visit. Are, are, do we have the same problem? I mean, so the more says, who hasna the cholif ababa the bey chamua? There was this chosen who every day used to come by on the on, on the doorstep of of the shvigar's house. The nag day and Rav Sheshis gave him Malchus Mardus. So the more answers that he midem habe dumbia. Chamose mine that both of them were choshed on they they were that we have already heard that she that we were afraid that they ha, they had relations together. So Nardoi Amri the Kulo no Menagedra in all these cases that the Gemara brought before Rav was did not give Malchus. The only case he gave Malchus was Ella on the Makadesh Babia below Shaduche. The only case he gave Malchus on was where a man was Makadesh, a woman with Bia, without having any discussions previously about they want to get married and who wants who's going to do this and who's do that. Because that in a sense that the 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 his, what he was Makadish of is is not for the purpose of marriage but is is for Zenus. The Ikat Amri and some say Dafil Bishaduhe Nami Bishum Pirtusa. And even for him to Makadish her a woman Babia is not appropriate because of because of preachers. Okay. Um, okay. Ahu Gabra the Kaddish but 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 Sif saw the Asa. A man was Makadish a woman with a bunch of Hadassim. A a a bunch of Hadassim. And after the Gadushan Umru lay. Uh, those that, that were standing there that saw him, him the Kaddisher, Paul Lespe Shavaputa, this, this bunch of Hadassim is not worth a Shavaputa. So, Amar Lahu, so the man said, Tiskadesh be Arba Zuzi the Ispe. In this bunch of Hadassim, a big bunch of Hadassim, even though the Hadassim are not worth a Shava Pruta, but in this bunch of Hadassim, there's four Zuzim. And four Zuzim are definitely more than a Shava Pruta. And rely on that to be Makadashur with that. Okay? So, to Kaddish be Arba Zuzi the Ispa. So, Shakalta, they took apart the the Machzelas, the net of 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 Hadassim, and they saw that in it there was this four Zusa. Okay, now what did she do? She vishtika, and she was quiet. So now, does that mean that she accepted the kedushin? She didn't accept the kedushin. What do you think? I mean, she so now she knows that there's this, these these four zuzim in, in the Hadassim, right? So the but she was quiet. So the Gemara says, I'm a Rav. Rav says, Habish Tikasa of the Liacher Martin Mos. It's that the shtika is like after the money was already given. I mean, an, initially, and it was initially when she took she took this bunch of flowers with the adasim, she didn't know the money was in there. Right? And, and so now 
when she knows, she didn't say anything. It's it's nothing, and therefore she's not Mekudish. Okay? And we're going to stop here. I don't think anybody is giving the shir on Shabbos because Rabbi Green is not, not here and he was giving the one on Shabbos. I, I'm i not sure about Sunday. Um, if I have the time to prepare, I will give it on Sunday um, unless Mordechai is back. How was he doing? Is he, he's not... He's, he, still, he's home. He's still re he's recuperating. Resting. He's he's still he's recuperating. Okay. He's still recuperating. If not bring it a type, somebody bring it a type. All right, then, then we'll figure out. We'll bring in. Yeah. Okay. You said you're from Borough Park, but it sounds like you're from the Midwest. Originally, I was born in Detroit. Oh, there you go. Detroit. You have a Detroit accent. Oh, actually, yeah. Detroit. That's it. Pick that up. What's your name? Waterstone. The middle of the day.